Hello everybody and happy new year to everyone tuning in to yet another one of my videos. It seems like I blinked and 2022 was gone and so now here we are. 2022 was a great year for me and I want 2023 to hopefully be even better. So starting us off for the year right, I wanted to revisit the coveted and luxurious Apple Watch Link Bracelet. There is still a ton of clout surrounding this very expensive band and actually is Apple's heaviest Apple Watch band to date and for a long time stood as Apple's most expensive band ever that they had on their website and in stores. The Link Bracelet still is a fan favorite, but is it worth the absurd asking price of $350 for the standard silver bracelet and an eye-watering $450 for the space black Link Bracelet? We're going to answer that question and more as well as highlighting all the key features that accompanies this upscale band and model it on a variety of Apple Watch casing materials and colors. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and roll that intro. <laughs> All right, band enthusiasts, band lovers, and most of all, bandaholics. Like I mentioned in the intro, I already reviewed the Link Bracelet, but that was over three years ago. I rewatched my own video and cringed slightly, but that only shows growth, right? I really enjoy the Link Bracelet for elevating your Apple Watch to make it appear way classier and is fantastic for formal events. So think about stuff like weddings, birthday parties, graduation ceremonies, and things like that. I'll attach a card at the top right for my original video review of the Link Bracelet as well as attaching video links down in the video description. Alright, so first things first, we gotta cover pricing because there's a massive $100 difference between these two and one may wonder why the Space Black costs way more considering they're effectively the exact same product. So, the standard silver Link Bracelet will set you back $349. If this sounds like a lot, that's because it is, but folks, What's crazier is that just a few years ago, both models of the Link Bracelet were $100 more expensive, respectively. I remember when the Space Black Link Bracelet was priced at $550, bucks, but since then, both models have had a $100 price reduction. But I was still surprised to see that the Space Black version is still way more expensive, coming in at $449. But why is this? Allegedly, according to Apple, this is due to the Space Black version having a distinct diamond-like carbon layer that gives the Space Black bracelet its distinctive finish. Yup, I know, a huge letdown, but that's basically it. That's why it's pricier. The Space Black version definitely doesn't shine quite like the standard silver link bracelet, and instead is a lot more subtle and sleek with less luster. However, I have found over the years that it is somewhat of a fingerprint magnet. I happen to find myself running my fingers over the bracelet to remove some of those smudges and fingerprint marks so that it doesn't look crusty. Taking all Hermes bands out of the equation, the Link Bracelet stand as Apple's most expensive in-house bands. The Link Bracelet is crafted from stainless steel and is made up of several different links, hence its name, that allows you to readjust the sizing of the band to make it looser or tighter. The metal design of the band along with the removable sections gives this band a very indistinguishable and futuristic look, with the removable segments appearing like dragon scales or armor, and I happen to think this effect is extremely neat. Apple certainly isn't the first company to make link bracelets. These style of watch bands have been around for hundreds of years on traditional watches, but with most of those, if you wanted to resize them, you had to either buy some tools and do it yourself, or take them to an expensive jeweler to have them resized. There was very little innovation going on with these bracelet style bands on traditional watches until Apple changed that entire narrative. The manufacturing process is quite remarkable here and Apple themselves hints that it's a big factor in why the price tag is so astronomically high. According to Apple, there are 100 components involved here and the machining involved is so precise it takes roughly nine hours to cut them for each singular band. Once assembled, the links are then hand brushed. Again, Apple here says it's to make sure the texture follows the contour of the band. But that's not where the manufacturing marvel ends because Apple's link bracelet sizing mechanism is simply pure genius. Six links on either side have a small metallic button found on the underside. Simply push it in and the link disconnects. Remove the link and the band is now resized. You just have to pop both ends together and voila. Just do note, please store the extra links in a secure place because they are so easy to lose. Who knows, in the future you may want to reattach the removed links and just as before, it's painfully simple and you just have to follow the same steps but in reverse order to make the link bracelet back to its original length. 
genius and simple as it should be apple has also designed a custom butterfly closure to make removing the band off the wrist super easy it folds so flat that it's barely even distinguishable from the links at times appearing like it's all one solid piece all the way through all you have to do is press both sides of the side buttons where the closure is and the band becomes undone and then attaching it all back together is also a breeze just make sure it clicks back into place and the band is ready for action. It's not only sophisticated and ingenious, but also elegant at the same time. The result is something that looks as phenomenal as it works, and that's simply what Apple is all about. Great design and a terrific user experience. The band does come in two different sizings and both will come in at the same price point. One for the smaller watches, which is the 38, 40, and 41 millimeter watches, but also comes for the larger watches being the 42, 44, and 45 millimeter watches. And before you ask, yes, for all my ultra wearers, the band is just as compatible to the ultra as it is with any other Apple watch. And if for some reason you've got jumbo size wrist and the six provided links simply don't cut it for you, Apple will sell you a pack of six additional links for wrists exceeding 205 millimeters and is priced at $49 for the additional link package. Obviously, this band was designed for the stainless steel model so as they say beauty is in the eye of the beholder i happen to not really dig how these bands look on aluminum watches but hey if you dig it then i mean you know more power to you now with this being the heaviest band it certainly has a different feel on the wrist versus something like the sport bands it definitely is quite noticeably heavier on the wrist but i don't think this is a bad thing whatsoever as a matter of fact it makes the entire package feel all the more premium the only small setback given this fact though is that I wouldn't necessarily recommend taking this band to the gym or on a run. It's just not designed for those kinds of activities and honestly Apple has entire band collections designed for working out so do keep that in mind. The nature of the metal band means it is technically waterproof and because of the high quality 316L stainless steel means that this band will never rust on you so you don't ever have to worry about getting this band wet as all liquids just slip right off. It's not like leather bands where it soaks in any and all liquids so it makes cleaning the band a lot easier. Now quick disclaimer, over time the band will get scratches and scuffs, and this is to be expected. It's not just Apple's link bracelets, but anyone who's worn a traditional watch with a link bracelet knows this all too well. This isn't some kind of indestructible material. You can see on my silver link bracelet that where the butterfly closure is, it's definitely seen some better days with visible scratches being shown. For me, this is a non-issue, as to me, it just shows the character of the band even more, similar to how leather patinas over time. You can, however, buff out the scratches yourself or take it to an experienced jeweler who offers this kind of service to do it for you. Or you can simply be like me and embrace the wear and tear and enjoy the look as it ages. It's all up to preference. I did just want to mention though, for any MacBook users, I tend to take off the link bracelet while typing because when you rest your wrist on the MacBook, it produces that hideous sound of metal on metal, similar to the sound of nails on a scratch board. Also, I remove it to remove excess potential scratches being left on my MacBook. Additionally, my Space Black Link Bracelet looks almost brand new, and in theory, the special coating does mean it should resist scratches more, but it does not mean it's immune to scratches, and some users have expressed concern that deep scratches on the Space Black Link Bracelet reveal the silver color underneath and makes for some pretty ugly wear and tear. If this is an issue for you, you may want to reconsider the Space Black and go with the standard silver one, whose scratches kind of just blend in seeing as it has no special coating to create that deep black color and that contrast whenever scratches do become present. Because of the high quality craftsmanship and materials Apple is using, the link bracelet feels as good as it looks. The standard silver stainless steel version is truly impeccable, but the Space Black is truly a sight to behold. It's almost mythical and otherworldly, like finding and catching a Galarian bird on Pokemon Go. I realize this sounds like I'm obsessing over it, but truly, the scale-like design and the awesome diamond-like carbon layer makes the Space Black Link Bracelet feel like you have a very special unicorn of a band on that almost nobody else has. And trust when I say you will get complimented left and right. And don't even get me started on how amazing it looks paired with the special edition Space Black Hermes Stainless Steel Edition Apple Watch. I mean, just look at this and tell me this doesn't look gnarly. But the ultimate question is, should you buy it? I mean, considering both cost more than an entire Apple Watch SE 2nd Gen, you have to ask yourself whether its value to you exceeds its cost. 
If you are an avid bandaholic and need that one band for formal events that isn't leather, then this is the perfect candidate that is not only great to look at, but is extremely durable and will last you for years and years. Take it from me, I've had these now for about 4 years and as you can tell they're holding up quite well. However, I can't get over how the singular purchase exceeds the price of some budget smartphones. I've had mine for years now and from experience I can confidently say I am very pleased with this purchase both for the standard silver and space black version. Mine have held up quite well over time with only the minor and expected scuffs here and there. It's best to set this purchase aside if you're eyeing it for a special occasion to treat yourself like an anniversary or birthday gift. Otherwise, if the link bracelet's price tag is chump change to you, then I mean, hey, go for it. In the end, any band enthusiast and especially bandaholic will get a kind of a high once wearing this on the wrist for the very first time. It's classy, elegant, and best of all, very durable. But I want to hear you guys' thoughts. For those that own a genuine first party link bracelet, how has your experience been with it? Were you happy with the purchase or did you end up regretting it with time and get buyer's remorse? Let us know in the comment section down below. I did also want to thank each and every single one of my viewers for helping me reach 60,000 subs. It truly is a massive honor and none of this would be possible without you guys. I'm truly grateful and am hopeful we can reach 75,000 subscribers very very soon. Definitely before 2023 ends and I'm planning a massive giveaway for that next milestone. Until next time guys, love you all and I cannot wait to catch you all in my next video.